a grand temple where even kings came to pray for good luck. The Sri Kalahasti temple is iconic. On the banks of the river Swarnamukhi, this temple is also known as Dakshana Kailasham or Dakshana Kashi after the famous abodes of Shiva, the presiding deity here. The temple enshrines a Vayu Linga, one of Shiva's Panchabhuta Lingas. And legend has it that Sri, a spider, Kala, a snake, and Hasti, an elephant, were cursed by Brahma, Shiva, and Parvati, but attained moksha by worshipping Lord Shiva here, giving him the name Sri Kala Hastishwara. The temple also has a statue of the hunter Thenan, who is said to have offered his own kannu or eyes to the Shivling, gaining renown as one of Shiva's greatest devotees, Bhakta Kanapa. The original temple was constructed during the Pallava dynasty, and the temple that visitors see today was built in the 11th century during the reign of the Cholas. The massive 100 pillared mandapam was constructed in the 16th century by Krishna Devaraya, and this was where the coronation of his successor, Achyutaraya, took place. The temple attracts thousands of pilgrims every year, not just to visit the holy deity, but for this puja or ritual. According to Hindu belief, the celestial serpents Rahu and Ketu swallow the sun and the moon to cause solar and lunar eclipses and bring ill luck upon many. But as both serpents are tamed and worshipped in this temple, it's believed to be immune to any ill effects. This is why the temple is famous for the Rahu Ketu puja being performed here every day. The ritual is believed to ward off evil effects caused by planetary movements, attracting hopeful devotees from near and far. Not just this, Sri Kalahasti is also home to the famous Kalamkari art form, which also started out as temple art. It is in many ways symbolic of the tapestry of myth, legend, art and faith that make this temple and its town so timeless. <laughs>